welcome to Give It A Shot. And this time, our Give It A Shot is a beer that we made ourselves. Yeah. yeah. So I, I guess technically this is a Give It A Shot on the actual kick that we use. Yeah, sure. Which is, oh, that's my text message. You don't need to read <laughs> okay. So what we did is we went to the, 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 the what do you call the uh, store? What was that? The micro, micro, so you, so you can, micro brewery. Right, so you can or brew, brew your own micro beers. Micro brew or, I, I can't remember the name of the store. But anyways. And I bought a kit that has all of the things that we need to make a stout. Mm -hmm. And this one is, um, Brewmasters is the company that makes yeah. this one in the beer ingredients refill. So this one was a stout. And um, that's pretty much all it says. It says more in here, ingredients kit, a medium body dry stout that drinks easy than its color. So it drinks easier than its color. Which suggests. Is, suggests. Yeah. yeah. So, so it looks really dark. Yeah. It looks really roasted, intimidating. Roasted coffee like flavor with a crisp dry finish. And uh, just enough bitterness to keep it from being sweet. Fantastic. Yeah, and it came with like, like it wasn't just one, one thing that you pour in and, and bake it up and then you know follow mm -hmm. the instructions. No, there was multiple stuff. There was mm -hmm. dry ingredients. There was the wet ingredients. Mm -hmm. We we made we made our mash. Uh, we did the whole thing and uh, yeah, we had the yeah we had the little sock thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here's a, here's a couple of pictures of, yeah. of that one now. When so we used that. Uh, we used a couple of uh, ingredients for uh, the malts, malts and malts and barley's. So when it first started so out, it looked like a, it looked like a tea going yeah. on. So the first one was a. Uh, so we got English roasted barley, yeah. which was milled already for us. Um, yeah. uh, so it's a Baird's malt. Mm -hmm. So there's, it was 550 to 650 L which I'm not sure what that stands for, but it's used in the production of dry or bitter stouts and other dark beers. So roasted at a higher fi final temperature than roasted malts. Roasted barley lends a more bitter flavor desired in uh, bitter or dry stouts, much darker than American versions. So yep. that was what we got in this one. The next one was the English chocolate malt. This is milled as well for us. So it's 450 to 550 liters. Uh, this chocolate malt is used in the production of porters and sweet stouts. Chocolate malt has a rich chocolate and coffee flavor and aroma with a light uh, astringency, much darker than, uh, or much darker with more intense flavors than standard chocolate malts. Yeah. So this one was really intense. Yeah. Wow, this is intense! So those were the two malts that we used. Mm -hmm. So we put both of those inside the, the stock, stocking yeah. thing. Yeah, <laughs> like it's like a, it's like a so, cheese cloth. Yeah, then we put that in there and we just let it do its thing and it was like, it was really cool. It was like... It took some time to, to like, put it all together. Yeah. I remember adding the hops at the last minute because yeah. we wanted just... Two hops. There were two hops. Yeah. One hop we put in there for an hour. Mm -hmm. So the first hop, I can't remember the name of it, but the first hop we put in there for an hour, the second hop we put in for one minute. Yeah. So the, so. the last minute of our boil, yeah. it's like we knew that it was like 59 minutes to go, 60 was when we were supposed to stop. We threw that malt in there, let it only go in there for an hour. That was yeah. pretty awesome. All right. All right, so we're gonna see if this tastes like flat sweet. beer. Flat beer? Yeah, if it tastes sweet at all, that's that's when we got it. It smells like, right, it yeah. smells, it smells really good. Actually, it kind of smells like bread. It does. It smells yeasty. It does. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was like that's amazing. Okay. Flat beer, very, very like almost no uh, sugary to it. Yeah, but that's it, ready. It is watered down big time because I think we. Yeah. Well, you're right. We, we put way too much water in this uh, mash. But oh damn, that's actually it's like it, a bottle. It, I it think won't it, be I, strong. But, no, but I think it's still going to taste pretty good, mm -hmm. especially once it gets carbonated. I think it'll taste good. I'm, All right. I'm actually shocked. Let's bottle <laughs> this. Yes. All right. I was expecting it to be like. It doesn't taste like beer. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, um, I think it's time now. Yeah. We, we we bottled them into some something that we drank before, which is some scuttle but <laughs> amber ale. But um, we did clean the bottles. And we yep. did condition them. We did use the. Well, we got we, we got stuff. videos of all that so, stuff. So yeah, we did do everything hopefully appropriate. So besides using too much water. So let's let's show them a little bit of our, our uh, procedures. Uh, yeah. So our cleaning. Last one. You know, 
practice right now with uh, filling the beer up. With the bonus and the negatives for having a dark color glass. <laughs> you can't yeah. see the liquid going into it very well, but really decent. So, kind of get some practice. I figure that's pretty much maybe like that, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit a little more. Bit more, yeah. Like up, maybe up to here on these ones. Right. So yeah. some room for the carbonation to happen. Yeah. But. Okay. So now the next thing is we're going to take the sugar pellets and uh, put them in our all of our bottles right there. Okay. So let's uh, get that going. Here we go. All right. And it's recording. All right, here we go. First bottle. So do we want to put our bottles after they're filled, just stack them up on the side, and then we'll cap them all at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Look good? Uh, I think so. Yeah? Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Room for... For stuff. Yeah. Okay, so that's maybe one. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more than that. A little bit more. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh, you know what? Yeah. Pretty much up to the brim. Then when you take it out, it, it leaves, it a little leaves gap, the room. It? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that before. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. This one has one. Yep. Wow, okay. That works really nice. Sweet! So I'm assuming these are magnetic. I think they're magnetic. Is it magnetic? Oh, look at that. Just magnetic. Oh, nice. Okay. So you put that on there. Put that this way. I think that you just could just crank down. Whoa. Looks like it's on there pretty good. It's capped. Is it capped? Yeah. Yeah? Sweet. Pretty easy. Yeah? Kind of lock this down real quick. I'm gonna hold on to the bottle. Okay. That way. Way easier with two people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad most people don't. Uh... <laughs> well, maybe they didn't have the luxury of having a second hand there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we need to do is invent a little uh, bottle holder. Go with this. Yeah. Of course they have those like stand up ones, right? Yes. That just you know you just put your bottle in there. Yeah. Clink. All right. So now it's time to taste this stuff. I'm excited. Ooh, did you hear that? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, there's some mist coming out of it. Coming there too. right out of that. Ooh, bottle it's condition. Very nice. All right, let me see here. Oh, that sounded yeah. good. Oops. Right, sorry. Lost a bottle cap. Don't, don't step over there. It's way over there. <laughs> yeah. So there were definitely, there's definitely some CO2 in there. Yes. So that worked out pretty good. All right, I'll let you pour yours first. All right. Look at that. We even get a yeah. head. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Look at that. We made that. <laughs> that is awesome. That's a good color. Wow. That is, that's freaking awesome. Awesome to the max. <laughs> hey, look at all that carbonation in there. Look at that head. Wow. Everything did what it was supposed to do. Yep. That is so, amazing. That is a good start. That's a good look. Yeah, that's not bad for our first beer ever <laughs> that we made. Wow. All right. Well, let's see what it yeah. smells like. Yeasty. Yeah, I get a lot of that. I get some aroma though of uh, some hop aroma. Yeah. But a lot of like, like fresh bread. Fresh bread is what I really mm. smell a lot of. 
Yeah, look at that. Look at that head. That's <laughs> actually not bad. Rocky head. Yeah, it's rocky. So too. that's good. That means yeah. some conditioning was. was there good is in some. There. Yeah, there is some alcohol in this. Uh, we're not sure of the amount because we did kind of. It suggests the, the. It suggests that uh, if you did everything correct, it was as far as the water amounts. Four point five. Yeah. I think we added too much water, which yeah. you all will kind of explain here. Yeah. But I don't think it had damaged it that much. So. Yeah. Let's see it's what we got here. Yeah. yeah, it just it smells yeasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that it, though. It's I like that smell. Super ready. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's <laughs> taste it. All right. Mm, wow. There is some bitterness to it. Yeah. Some bitterness. Some. And there's some some sweetness it's yeah. not sweet it's suggestive sweet yeah yeah kind of like so that. it's not i don't really taste sweet but it's almost like that shit tastes sweet i want to say there's a, a roasted flavor i can't really say that it's coffee but yeah definitely something roasted mm -hmm. and there's that a, 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 a pleasant bitterness that comes from, i can tell it's yeah. a hot bitterness yeah Let's uh, oh yeah. Let's try it with the pretzel or peanuts. See if that kind of brings out the something. the bitterness a little bit. Mm -hmm. Everything that we did to it. I mean, the, to be Im not unbiased because I am biased about this. It's our baby. Yeah, we made this. Yeah, but I am enjoy. I enjoy this beer. <laughs> I I think that's the reason why people homebrew is because they enjoy it so much better. It's kind of like the difference of eating your own home cooked meal and going somewhere and, and buying a, a prep meal. Not saying that the prep meals are not good because I love some hamburgers from restaurants and whatnot. But they make some but good stuff and when then you, you make didn't your have to make it. own though, it's like, oh, this I'm mine. I'm completely biased yeah. about it, so yeah. yeah. All right, now we've tried some peanut. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is better now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think I get some of that malty. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. I got a little. I got a little sweetness. Yeah, extra. But I also got what would be the what what makes it taste a little bit like uh, roasted coffee, kind of ah. a little bit like that. All right. So now let's try it with the pretzel. Yep. I put it on silent so he, he won't disturb us no more. <laughs> All right. So, like you all know, we try all these other beers and see if uh, a, a, a Snyder's pretzel changes what we taste in the beer. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay, now, let's try it now. All right. Ooh, that tastes a little bit more, that makes it taste like a stout, a little bit more yeah. stouty. Actually, that, yeah, because that brought out the roasted flavors on the side of it. You know what it reminds me of is like, I'll say, when, when, so Guinness is is a, is a, it's dark beer, but it's it's called a draft. Mm -hmm. When you buy the, the Guinness stout, this this has that flavor. The stoutness. Yeah. But it has a bit of bitterness to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This tastes more like a Guinness extra stout, kind of, not super extra, but uh, close to the extra mm -hmm. part of an extra stout of Guinness. Yeah. God, I like I the, love the that. Yeah, we got we got a, we got a head. We got it's a great so carbonation. Awesome. The head is not tan. It's 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 fairly white. It has a bit of tan to it, but mm -hmm. it's fairly white. Yeah, it's it's a so pretty good color. Yeah, it's pretty natural. Five gallons of it. Yeah. All right, dude, you ready? Yep. For our last test. Got to slam this stuff. Yeah, slam it. <laughs> Seems like a waste. I'm so, I'm so I'm so pleased with this, but let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Sweet. It is cold. Yeah. We didn't take it out of the fridge or anything. It, it, it was already pretty cold when it first came out. Oh. Yeah, there is some sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I like a hint of sweet at the very end. It, like I said, it was. it's not like a like, uh, sweet tasting candy sweet. It's mm -hmm. more of like... The malts have a sweet. You know it. Yeah, it's like, you know it's it's a sweet, it, it, but it doesn't... It's weird. It's hard to I, explain. I, I kind of got the grain flavors now. 
that mm -hmm. we added. I can taste some of the greens. I mean, there's a lot of different things in there, uh, in that in that big giant tea bag. Yeah. That made that tea bag. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, adult. Adult. I think beats taking out some enemies with your old man, Stephen. Stop that right this second. <laughs> adult. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> you have to adult right now. So you. you you would I, do this kit again? Uh, hell the, yeah! Uh, Brewmaster Stout Kit. I, I marched right it. down there and paid. I think it was only seventeen bucks. Seventeen too. bucks for it. Yeah, for one gallon. For which one is, gallon. Which is basically two six packs. Right. Yeah. And and all we had to do was just basically cook up a pot mm -hmm. with all the things in there, add it to the fermenter, uh, and and, yeah. and and all the little things that we had to do to, to pre mm -hmm. prepare that fermenter. Other than that. The two weeks. Yeah, the pro <laughs> the process was fun. Yeah, two weeks in the in the yeah. bucket, and then, uh, uh, then another week inside we, the bottle, we, we, yeah. and you're good to go. So three weeks total, um, averaging around. Yeah, three, three weeks darn total. easy. So uh, w the other one is going to take an extra week. So you know, yeah. four weeks on that one. So what yeah, because we tasted it, we're like that still tastes sweet. Yeah, we'll let the yeast do what it's yeah, going to do. Let's let it go a little <laughs> bit longer. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, brew your own beer. Uh, we're going to be doing some more, and so when we make some more beers, we're going to taste test our uh, you know. Our Give it a one. shot. Our yep. own beers. Our American Light, yeah. Yeah. We'll do that one. That one's uh, Mr. Come, beer. Coming up coming Mr. up shortly. Yeah, the Mr. Yeah. Beer. So, and we'll tell you what we think of that. Kit. Yeah, we're going to keep on making some Mr. Beer beers. Uh -huh. And uh, so, we'll see what we think of it and see what you think of it. So, you can brew your own beer for super cheap, really. Yep. And it's really easy. So, that'll do it for now. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>